The term Judeo-Christian has gained traction in recent times. It aims to encompass the shared heritage of Judaism and Christianity. While well-intentioned, this label can be misleading, especially when applied to Catholicism. Catholicism, while rooted in the history of Israel, found its defining form within the heart of Greco-Roman civilization. The nascent Christian church in its infancy did share a close connection with the Jewish synagogues. The first Christians were Jewish, after all. Yet, as the gospel spread beyond Judea, a crucial shift occurred. The church encountered the vibrant and diverse world of Greco-Roman culture. This encounter would profoundly shape its destiny. This encounter was not a collision, but a fusion. The church, guided by the Holy Spirit, adapted to its new environment. It adopted the language of the Greeks, the philosophy of the Romans, and the artistic sensibilities of the ancient world. This adaptation was not a betrayal of its origins, but a fulfillment of its universal mission. Two towering figures, Peter and Paul, played pivotal roles in establishing Rome as the center of the Christian faith. Peter, the rock upon whom Christ built his church, traveled to Rome and embraced martyrdom there. Paul, the apostle to the Gentiles, found fertile ground for the gospel in the Roman Empire. Their presence in Rome, their teachings and their martyrdom solidified Rome's place in the Christian story. Rome was not merely a geographical location, it was the heart of the Roman Empire, the center of Western civilization and the divinely chosen seat of the Catholic Church. The influence of Greco-Roman culture on the developing church was pervasive and profound. It permeated every aspect of church life, from its organizational structure to its liturgical practices. Roman law influenced the church's hierarchical structure while Greek philosophy provided the intellectual framework for its theological discourse. The Latin language, with its precision and clarity, became the language of the liturgy, the scriptures and theological writings. Greek, the language of philosophy and intellectual discourse, shaped the church's understanding of theological concepts. The arts and architecture of Rome found their way into the grand cathedrals and basilicas that would become symbols of the Christian faith. 